In this video, I am going to explain how to create a methods in Java. For that, first we want to know what is method. Uh, method is just like a piece of code. Uh, we can write the functionality of our program inside the method. And uh, we have four ways to writing a method. Uh, first one is a method not taking any parameters and not returning any value. The second one is method is not taking parameter but it have returned some value. And the third one is method taking parameters but it's not returning value. And the fourth one is method taking parameter and also it have returning some value as well. So uh, we will see it in a practical way. So first I want to uh, open my Eclipse IDE. Inside the source folder, I'm going to create a new class. Um, it's our opinion, whatever we want to name it as our class. I'm going to uh, name it to some like a demo one. So I'm just removing it and I'm writing the new class name which is demo one. And let's say finish and also I'm clicking the checkbox itself. Then only it will automatically include my main method in my program. So uh, it's opening the uh, new window which is demo1.java. It already written inside class and the main method. So I want to um, accessing the four method one by one. Uh, first I want to taking two values which is uh, x and y and these two are integer data types so i'm take it as uh, integer x equal to 20 and integer y equal to 30 and i'm going to write the method here let's say the method name is add add parentheses and first one is it has not returning any value and uh, not taking any parameters so uh, let's say void in front of add and inside the uh, Kali bracket and I'm going to write one statement which is system dot out dot print ln inside this uh, I'm going to uh, write whatever I want to print in my console window so uh, x plus y I want to add two numbers and I want to display it so inside uh, system dot out dot print ln I'm going to write x plus y after that, I am going to create the object for my uh, method. So the object is create under the main method only. So I am going to uh, write the class name first, then object new or uh, demo of. And I want to access the add method inside my um, main method. So from object name, I am going to call my add method. Okay, uh, first I want to uh, create one variable, uh, one variable or whatever you want to want. We can create it and I'm write the method here. After that inside method, I'm just print the statement and I'm creating one object and I miss my equal and uh, it's okay. So uh, now I want to run my code which will give the output as uh, 20 plus 30, which is 50. So I'm running the code. Let's see what happened here. And my output is 50. I got my output. This is the first method of creating method. And the second method is, I am let's opening my uh, notepad. Uh, the method not taking parameters, but returning value. So let's see it in example here. In my uh, void add, it's not taking any parameters. So add, I am simply putting like this. And inside of, uh, instead of writing void, I am going to write integer here and it's returning some value. So I am uh, write it return of, return of. I want to add this to x and y, so x plus y. Then I want to access my add by creating object. So I am already create the object and I just to write the print statement because uh, here is I am writing only the return statement. So I want to display something in my console. So this obj dot add of I want to um, take it in system dot out dot print line inside and only it will return the uh, value of x plus y from my uh, add method. So I am write it here system dot out dot print ln and inside this i am passing obj dot add off then only it will return the 
value of x plus y uh, which will add and return uh, like 50 so i am going to run my code it will returning the value 50 in my console so let's run my code java application and i got the output like uh, 50 let's see ah oh, yeah i got the output 50 here and this is the second way and the third way is method taking parameters but not returning value so i'm going to uh, write uh, i'm going to just remove the uh, integer in front of uh, add it's not returning any value so i'm uh, take it as void here and inside add i'm pausing uh, the value of x and y uh, in my previous two examples uh, i'm not taking parameters so i'm separately writing the variable and the value here the method is taking parameters so inside this i just pass x and y uh, along with the uh, data type of x and y after that i am writing system dot out dot print ln it will add like this is also i am going to use uh, addition operation of x and y so x plus y it's over and i want to uh, come to my object inside this i am going to pass my x and y value inside the add method i am going to pass the value of x and y uh, like uh, whatever value you want to pass you can simply pass it here i am going to pass 10 comma 30 for x and y and i just run the code it will give the output like 40 let's see what happening and my console window i got the output 40 this is the third way and the fourth way is uh, method taking parameters and also it have written some value also in my previous example I take the uh, parameters and here I just change the uh, one and writing uh, integer and I'm just remove the system dot order print ln code I'm writing here return it's returning something so I am going to write return x plus y now I am going to access my object uh, so let's uh, get into the main program and I want to print it because i'm already uh, passed the value of x and y now i just want to print my code like system dot out or print ln inside the uh, print ln i want to pass the obj dot add of 10 comma 30 then only it will take the uh, output and print it in my screen so just write the system dot out or print ln inside my print ln i am going to write object dot add and uh, inside the parentheses i am pausing two values which is 10 and 30 and we will get the output as 40 so let's run the code going to run us java application uh, we will get the output as 40 so let's see what happening and the output is yeah i got the output as 40 so this is the way of uh, creating methods uh, in four different ways and that's all about how to create your uh, um, methods by using four different ways in java and that's all